I have the burden of knowledge. And you know the knowledge that I have the burden of, and you know that basically nobody else has that knowledge, and it makes me sad. But it is part of the reason why I am going to be just a fucking man with a bludgeon when it uh, when it comes to a few of these things. So, yeah, that's um, like that's kind of that's kind of my entire my entire approach to talking about Corthia will be. I don't even know what to do, what to say. It'll be kind of like, like a little happy puppet show with one hand, but like, hello, look, that, look at all of the good stuff you've done, but the other hand just has a gun, because it's like I have oh, so many things. So, what's your opinion? And uh, what's your first impressions? Let's let's roll. Okay. Uh, my first impression: uh, the battle for Ardenweald was the skirmish for Ardenweald. It <laughs> yeah. uh, had no. It wasn't anything. Uh, it d didn't make any logical sense as a battle because I was d going doing a bunch of stuff, which kind of felt okay. Go, go sort out these, stop the people summoning in more stuff. Sure. Not quite entirely sure how that works, considering it took Kel'Thuzad a massive amount of time to summon anything into the Maw. Or sorry, an anything from the Maw. Or create that portal, but they can just do it now. Cool. Whatever. Mm. Fine. I'll accept. I'll, I'll suspend my disbelief for your uh, story that needs to just do random shit to go places. Because that's what the whole thing is at the minute. But... It just wasn't particularly fun content. It was there. It felt okay, like to do it as part of the narrative. It was like, okay, I know what I know. What I'm doing. I'm defending Ardenweald. Nice. This is fine. But it was over in the blink of an eye. I killed everything. Like I was just like I was pulling stuff. And like I main holy paladin. I was pulling five or six mobs and killing them all with wake of ashes in red. Like it's brutal. And that's like like two twelve, two thirteen item level. I'm just one-shotting groups. And yeah. then... It's not gameplay. Yeah. it's th That's actually the important part. It's not gameplay. And if anyone thinks it is gameplay, like, go play something that has gameplay, please. Because even the bit where you're throwing blobs, like, there's no... There's nothing there. You're just moving... Like, you can move your mouse around and smash one, it's and you'll QTE. get the jump done. It's, it's not may, a QTE. Because a QTE is. requires timing. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's even... Yeah, it's that thing. You're fulfilling your role in a play... Yeah. And I think when a video game, even when it is just doing sort of content like that, there are still ways to make the player feel like they're in the driving seat. And I guess Blizzard don't really use those things, which is a pity because it, it would be nice. I mean, fucking hell. Even if you let me do the mythic battle for Ardenwheel, like even if there was a little NPC that was like, do you want to do this in the easy mode or the normal mode? I'd be like, oh, can I, can I do the battle for Ardenwheel on Mythic difficulty, please? And, you know, maybe the you give me an item level 207 weapon instead of a 187. And, you know, I'd be happy to do that. And even if the battle for Ardenwheel ended up taking me twice as long and there were failure conditions, now the battle for Ardenwheel would have to be way better designed uh, as an actual, like, scenario. But, like, if they had have done that and I could have, you know, had a, you know, the Mythic Battle for Ardenwheel that's like a little scenario thing with intricate gameplay and, you know, little bits where I actually feel like, you know, oh, shit, I'm a pretty cool dude. I'm a, I'm a hoopy boy on the battlefield defending Ardenwheel. That would be cool. But as you said, Wake of Ashes, everyone's dead. Yeah, it, it, Where like, is the video? There, there, is no video there is no video game in Battle for Ardenwheel. It is you're just doing stuff and that's it. Like, that's basically that's basically all you can do. You press a load of buttons and then it's over and then you watch a cinematic. And then in the middle of it all it's like, oh, oh no, we actually failed in what we were doing. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? We, no, one, no one was defending the heart of the forest? Or no, sorry, they were. But then Anduin just walks in and you're like, what? At what point was any of that my gameplay? Yeah. It was never Anduin's coming. Shit, we need all forces to stop him, and he just goes, get away. So The player didn't see any of that. You know that I am not the biggest fan of you know, certain franchises. And, you know, with Star Wars, it's like, I, you know, I, res I respect and like the first one. I really, really like the second one. The third one's okay. And most of the rest of the series, I'm like, yeah, you know, take it or, or leave it. As much as, you know what, I fucking love Revenge of the Sith purely for, you know, unlimited power because, my God, what a fun performance. And that's why, even though I know it's a shit movie, I can't wait to watch Rise of Skywalker. Now that I've just realized, I get to watch Palpatine go, or whatever the fuck he does. But I will give Rogue One Man... Gareth Man, I forget, Edward, whatever his name is. Gareth Edwards, is that it? They do it, or even in the first movie. Like, Darth Vader's a, f he's fucking scary. Yeah. He's he's scary, that bit at the end of Rogue One when, you know, it's like all, all the boys realize, well, I'm fucking dead. But, <laughs> you know, the, now the best thing I can do is at least have died for something. 
Yeah. So now me and the boys are going to stall him and get fucking slaughtered while we try to save the one little thing that's really important to our entire pl- sigil. Well, it's okay. Yes, it's not like it was Princess Leia's sigil or something. Mm. But I mean, Anduin. Yeah. Why was Anduin not some sort of loom, like dark looming threat where, you know, the Battle of Ardenweald is way longer. We are, you know, fighting our stuff. And then an NPC is like, oh, look over there, whatever. And then mm. not with a cutscene, but you with your camera can just move it. And much like with, say, Arthas following you, they could have even done this as a throwback to the third oh. ICC dungeon. Yeah, the but just this Anduin slowly walking towards the thing or doing something like that, slaughtering the Night Fae people. You know, you would have seen that and thought, oh, fuck, Anduin is he's, he's slicing the balls off them. They're dead as fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like... They, they could have done that. They could have made Anduin feel really built up and you know really just turned it from this character who is you know our uu soft boy <laughs> that would go through a character arc into mm. somebody we're like actually terrified of like that's where i think they should have been you know going with that narrative because it doesn't matter how they just show anduin to us what matters to us as people who are playing a game is how we experience anduin and thus far i've not experienced anduin all I've done is right-click on Bolvar and then had a little cutscene play where people are like, Anduin, don't give in! Resist! Push! Yeah. And then Anduin's just like, whoosh! Bye! It, <laughs> kind of like, what? Yeah. You're blue balls at me! It's honestly <laughs> like, uh, well, I have, I have a hy- hypothesis that I'll get into a little bit later as to why it is that way. But it is the point where the battle for battle for Ardenweald or battle of Ardenweald, whatever it's called. There's so many battle ofs and fours and ends and who's and I just don't I don't know anymore. <laughs> but it's just it wasn't fun in any capacity. It was just like completely brain dead. If you look at like the Mihal, I can't remember his surname pronunciation, but the guy who did like uh, came up with the concept of flow and researched it. Oh yeah, your man. Yeah. Like you look, it is pure bottom left which is just pure apathy. It's boredom and apathy because there's no skill required whatsoever. It's literally just, you you do you just press buttons. And that's for like a heroic raider. Like that's, imagine being a mythic raider. Like oh, is I, there, like is there I any imagine, reason <sighs> that like THD stream was the way that it was? Oh, a complete, ah, oh, complete another joke. Like it's funny, yeah. as, funny as hell watching that. Oh, yeah, watching that, funny, it was funny shit. Especially all the bugs, which yeah. luckily enough, I didn't experience any of that stuff because I have heard people who, uh, finished the battle for Ardenweald, almost got to the last step, disconnected, had to uh, start it from this start again. Yeah. So, like, <sighs> I'll be overt. I do want a game where, I mean, I feel like us and THD do get mm. along pretty well. He does banter with us on, on Twitter, but, you know, if he just purely wants to zoom, 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 zoom to get to the, the ring, yeah. I, I don't think he does that. But, you know, I would rather a game where the people just want to zoom through the narrative stuff for the sake of zooming through it because all they care about is getting to the super, super end game stuff. I'd rather a game where those people are unhappy because actually the Battle for Ardenweald is a real chunky bit of content with a bunch of difficulty and, you know, cool sort of your know, player or experiential narrative rewards at the end. Um, and I actually feel like most of the players of the limits and the methods and the stuff would want that as well because actually they're video game players. You- All that's happened is that they've latched on to the most video game bit of World of Warcraft while Blizzard has forgotten to make the narrative content of World of Warcraft a video game. Yeah, they're, they're like the, the video game stuff is entirely <laughs> like locked behind all this end game stuff, which is kind of one of the massive problems where no one plays World of Warcraft until they're in like higher level stuff because yeah. you're just not you're not like if you're questing you're barely playing the game, which you know it's weird because like I would go out of my way to say gameplay is more than just the buttons you press, so I need like a weird actual way to d- define gameplay, enjoying a narrative world, and doing little bits here and there and gameplay you know, sweaty, this is combat that I'm engaging with my stuff. So I need a way to, like, demarcate those, in a sense. Yeah. But at the minute, I'm talking purely about literal, I want to have a challenge. Not even challenge. I just want my buttons to be meaningful instead of I'm pressing whatever's glowing on my screen and it's killing the other dude in one hit. Like, it feel, yeah. it feels like you're playing the game with cheats on so, if you're doing any single-player content. And that's the battle for Ardenweald. It was narratively a complete utter mess. There's no actual video game content in it. It was just... You, things will die around you if you so much as blow in their general direction. And then yeah, uh, that disappointed me because it was like such a big part of the trailer for this patch. 
Like, they really pumped it up as like, hey, yo, this is the battle for Arden Wheel. Look at this in our cool pre-launch or launch trailer. Yeah. And it just didn't really match that. And, you know, I actually think, I actually think Blizz could solve this really quick. Uh, and I'm not saying do it like monster power or something, but give me a checkbox that will let me do it at a harder difficulty and make it drop a higher item level reward simple as that and maybe there are some players who will just go do it in the easiest mode to try to zoom through it but you know if you have a mythic version of the battle for ardenweald lasts a little bit longer i mean you guys make the same content put the same mechanics in there but just in the mythic mode you tune them so that i have to play your video game and i have to play your mobs and your bosses as designed and you maybe and you know in return for defeating that i get a unique reward for doing the mythic thing you know that would be really cool and then if we have the Shadowlands version of a Lorewalker Cho-like NPC, where I can be like, yo, Cho, I want to go, uh, you know, do the mythic version of this thing. And you can, you can send me in. And I can do it, you know, maybe later. Uh, and, and get that cool, uh, you know, cosmetic reward or something like that. Um, so I feel like that's a way where, you know, they could design the battle for Ardenweald, but get way, way, way more, uh, like, actual yeah. uh, player gameplay out of that. Yeah, but that, the problem is they have to design gameplay. It, what's that thing? You know, sometimes I wonder: Do they actually design gameplay, but then just tune it? Well, yeah, it's a thing where I don't. I well, uh, you tune it so that it, it doesn't really exist. Yeah. Well, outside of the Mage Tower, I don't think I've had anything in World of Warcraft that's like solo gameplay that's vaguely challenging. But then there's so many reasons for that because they can't actually make it. You know, I don't know why they don't seem to be able to make something that's just all around challenging to every like every spec. They can't like tune numbers based on what enemies being attacked or something like that because obviously you know you play a tank you never have to worry about dying mm. no matter what you do generally in game whereas a hater doesn't do enough dps to kill anything in a reasonable time stuff like that so it's i feel like they're in a kind of unwinnable situation but like it's their problem to fix it's their problem to take that unwinnable situation and do what they need to to make it winnable and then win it it's like yeah. it Designing World of Warcraft is not a Kobayashi Maru, like, it's just not. There, yeah. there, is, there is a way to make it so, you know, you play a game, you, you go into the Battle of Ardenweald and, you know, someone who's been playing World of Warcraft for years isn't just going, oh, I'll just say whatever. Yeah, because, like, at the end of the day, who is the primary audience of World of Warcraft? It is people who've been playing it for years. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I guess it's just something that it, it's worth thinking about as, as we move forward yeah. and I think should be a part of the community discourse. And a lot of that is because, actually, I see Blizzard make all this content and I'm just thinking, like, guys, you could just give us a harder mode or a something of it or, you know, tune it a bit differently and we'd actually get way more video game out of you guys doing the same amount of work. So, in a way, it would be a great win-win for both us and the developers. Because I'm also sure there's loads of, uh, loads of uh, you know, designers at Blizzard. I mean, they make fucking incredible encounters and stuff. So, you know that they have got the talent. And that yeah. those, uh, those team members have got the passion to do things like this really good. You just sort of think, like, if a Mythic Battle for Ardenweald did exist, what would those Blizzard staff do with it? Like, the, the Blizz staff who are the people who make those incredible... Uh, you know, boss fights and all of that stuff. You know, I, I wonder. It, it yeah. could, you know, could be quite neat. Um, so that's about for Arden Wheels.